let's take a look at level two. So <clears throat> in level one, we said, oh, this inside the absolute value sign can either be negative this number or positive this number. So nothing has changed here. This, what's inside the absolute value sign, can equal either negative 11, right? Like if this in here was negative 11, then when I take the absolute value, it would become positive 11. Or if this in here was positive 11, when I take the absolute value, it would just stay 11. So notice I've now set up two separate equations, just like before. The only difference is here is these aren't solved yet, right? I still need to get x by itself in both of these. So I'm gonna go ahead, add four, add four. This is negative 11 plus four, that's more negatives than positives, I get negative seven. That's one of my answers. Over here, I'm still adding four to both sides, right? I'm still trying to get x by itself, but this time 11 plus four is 15. That's another answer, okay? Absolute value equations have two answers. Look, let's check and make sure these work. If x is negative seven, this would be negative seven minus four. That would be negative 11. Then I take the absolute value, I get positive 11. If x is 15, 15 minus four, that's positive 11. Take the absolute value, I still get 11. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's look at this one. The same is true. Whatever inside here either equals negative this number or positive this number, right? So 4a minus 3 either equals negative 11 or 4a minus 3 equals positive 11. Okay, so we're going to take what's inside the absolute value and we're going to create two equations, one where it's negative, one where it's positive. Now we solve. Let's see, negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8 divided by 4. I get negative 2. Over here, 11 plus 3 is 14 divided by 4. And I get 3.5. OK, let's double check. Negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, minus 3 is negative 11, good, and then the absolute value makes it positive 11, perfect. 3.5. 4 times 3.5 is 14, minus 3, that equals 11. There we go. Okay, go ahead and try these four problems.